Hi guys, uh, welcome to Ritva UX. Myself Nimesh, and today we will be doing installation and configuration of post fixed mail server on Saint OS facility. There, using uh, we'll be using both Dovecot and Squirrel mail facility. As you know, Squirrel mail is an open source mail transfer agent available in Linux systems where Downcode is an open source IMAP and Poppy uh, server uh, available for uh, Linux systems and finally we will be using Skiro Mail uh, which is one of the uh, facility that we can web -based, uh, we can use to access the mail's clients uh, based on web and uh, we'll be using that uh, to our postfix mail server installation so let's begin okay uh, first i'll open the uh, terminal then i'll want move to my mode as a super user mode and to my console okay and i clear the screen then i will be uh, I will be first take my IP address uh, signed to me. I will use the command for if uh, config. Then I uh, can see my IP address issued uh, to this VM is uh, 192.168.176.162 and the subnet mask is slash 24. So I will keep this information for future configurations. Then what I'll be doing is I'll be first removing the default mail client in this Linux system that is send mail facility. So what I'm doing is I'll use this command to remove the uh, send mail facility in this Linux box. So uh, I'm using that and uh, you can see uh, there's no such arguments or uh, no packages marked. Uh, removal also which means that uh, the same mail facility is no longer there in this uh, Linux box. I will clear the screen then uh, the next thing is I will be renaming the this host file in this machine uh, into the domain that I want to use in my mail. So I am accessing gedit and slash etc slash host file and uh, here, okay. Uh, before that, uh, uh, let me open another terminal. Uh, let me another tab so that I can get the uh, IP address. Then and there, with, uh, so here this is the IP address. I will get it. I'll copy it. All right. Then I go here. Then I access this in post file again. Then I will go to the next line and I paste it. All right. Then I am adding my uh, domain. So in this case, I will be using as mail dot mail dot ux dot com. This is uh, my mail domain that is I am using refer ux dot com domain. Then I save it and I close it. Then I will be doing uh, disabling the secure Linux facility otherwise it will create some errors while installing post fixing up server so i'm doing it by editing uh, sysconfig and uh, secure linux then i go there and you can see in this uh, line here the default is secure linux enforcing that is policy in the enforce i'm doing converting it to or change it to disable which is no secure linux policy is loaded so i change this setting as disable okay then i save it looks fine so next i'm going to do is installing the ebel repository which means uh, Can be done using this particular command. Okay. 
and I am inserting minus y. Uh, why I am inserting minus y is because uh, it will it will accept all the permissions as yes. Where EPEL means extra packages for enterprise Linux version, or it's it's some for Red Hat version for CentOS, Debian, etc. And uh, when we uh, give this command, it takes uh, some time based on your internet uh, speed of installing the EPEL package. Right, done. So in my case, it's, it's already installed. Now I'm changing the firewall settings in order to allow HTTP facility uh, because uh, I'm planning to access my postfix mail server uh, using uh, secure mail web version. In that case, I need to allow port 80. So I'm doing this change, firewall, cmd, minus minus, at service, uh, 80, slash, TCP service and I make this setting as terminal because I want to be there after I uh, restart or reboot the machine as well. So I add that. So we create another issue. Uh, at not at service, it should be at port. Okay, yes, it's port. And uh, the thing is, I'm reloading the firewall. Now it's done. So now the HTTP service is allowed to the firewall. Now I have done a lot of changes so that in order to make them enforced, I am rebooting the machine. So I can use this command to reboot the boot. Right. Now my machine Linux box is getting uh, rebooted. And uh, there's a minus in performance, we had to wait uh, uh, to uh, uh, a couple of uh, seconds in order to get it uh, rebooted. My one got rebooted, so I'm giving it a minus k. Password to get it enough. Great. Now I'm going to turn it off. Okay. Changing my mod to super user mod. Then I will be installing the Postfix mail server and packing it. So I'm using yum minus tail postfix minus y. Okay. When I give that, it is getting installed. It is also the time taken will be dependent on the load speed you have. Great, my one is installed. Now I'm going to configure this and my information. Uh, Installation and configuration of PostFix mail server is merely based on set of configuration file changes. So uh, this is the first one. Uh, I'm going to change the configuration file of PostFix mail server. So I'm going to edit uh, access is using gedit uh, facility uh, slash uh, 
do phosphix and then plus zero. So I and I access it, it's, it's open. So first thing you can do is uh, go to this one uh, line section and click on this uh, line number so they can you can easily uh, identify uh, the relevant configuration to change easily first i'm going to change uh, add my first name uh, and it is there under 76 so here you can go here and you can click here and throw the hashtag so that that you are uncommenting if you put a hashtag which means you are commenting this line so when you in, uh, remove it now you have uncommented this hashtag so my host name would be so is in this case <coughs> Mail dot refer unix dot com. Refer unix dot com. This is my uh, mail. This is my host name. Then I'm going to change my domain. This is in MP3. So here also I am going to enter this thing. And my domain will be domain plus VOD. So there will be refer unix and VOD would be dot. And uh, then I'm going to uh, change uh, this for my character 99, which is uh, I say my dot origin and domain uh, would be thing. So I'm going to uh, change the uh, configurations uh, to understand by system easy. Then I'm going to uh, allow all the interfaces and uh, changing this configuration is 113. I remove this hashtag only. And I'll allow all the uh, all the protocols at 109 uh, allowed. So it is a YG protocol allowed. And you can see all the protocols are allowed. And then I will uh, configure in order to allow the destination. Uh, so here 160 is already uncommented. And I can connect the 165 as well. So that my destination would be either where I can be called via my host name or local host dot my domain. Or I will serve the host itself or my domain itself. So that that configuration I will allow. Then uh, I need to uh, configure my server networks. It's there at 264. Uh, yeah, if you go to 264, yeah, here you have uh, you can uncomment it and you can change here based on your uh, domain and based on your uh, network. So in my case. I will connect to a host. And I'm 2168.76162, so this one would be my domain. And 2168.76166. You are good to that. And here. And 0.8. Zero. I allow any kind of code slash and my subnet is 24. As you can see, the subnet would be 24. And uh, so I can here and I open my local host port like this and uh, that's it. And that's it. Great. So the final, and, uh, the final one would be uh, defining my mailbox and it's at 419. Yeah. I use my mail directory uh, as my default mailbox and it's mail host. So these are the configuration uh, I want to change in terms of my server and then I save it and I close it. So I can go here and then, uh, then you can uh, restart and enable the post fix mail server. How to do it? You can use this point etl enable Great. Now we have successfully configured the post fixed uh, configuration file. Then we can install the Dowhot. So I'm here and go where you are and install Dowhot. Dowhot is your IGN IR. IMAP uh, Apache Micron. Okay, uh, I forgot to uh, 
we're going to give a uh, dy that is why they are asking me to enter you know yes yes all the time and if i enter minus y it was it should not have uh, this sign and this over here also uh, the time check has installed this facility depends on your internet connection this for you and here also uh, just like uh, cost fixed uh, there are a couple of uh, configuration files uh, to be installed but unlike uh, cost fixed we, there was only one configuration file here in Dalkit we have a couple of uh, configuration files to be edited we'll first edit the main Dalko, uh, the Dalkit configuration file using the edit PC slash Dalcot and Dalcot Dalcot. Here uh, you have to go to uh, protocols. Here, uh, if I give the line number, line number 24, and you go to protocols, and that will allow all the protocols. So you can remove the hash tag. So that's all the configurations you have to do in the Dalcot configuration file. Then you have to save it and you have to close it. The next configuration file is a uh, mail configuration, so you can access that using slash PC Delcot and uh, it is one D and I got in minus mail then uh, mail mail configuration. Here you can gain new customs with uh, this uh, line number enabled. Then you have to go to line number. Oops. Wait. Where is it? Yes. Here, what you have to do is uh, in this configuration file, you have to uh, enable the uh, the mailbox. Okay. So I go in. I I remove this one. Uh, Hash memory so that you can remove the mailbox. So I save it, and that's all the configuration we have to do in the mail configuration file. Okay. Then I'm going to uh, authenticate the file, the configuration file. So here, the edit slash dpc slash token slash config slash mail configuration. Yeah. Again, I'm enabling the uh, line numbers. Then I am going to the uh, the first configuration one would be under line number ten. So here, disable plain text authentication. Yes, I'm uh, enabling it, which means no plain text and, uh, authentication. All the system enables uh, those two authentications allowed. Then I'm going to line number hundred, uh, which will further uh, Emphasize uh, the uh, login should be based on the uh, uh, CSS so I have put a space and I have put log in and that log in. So that is the configuration I want to do in the authentication configuration file. Just like this. Good. Then I save it and I close it. Great. The, the next uh, and, the, and the final configuration file would be the master configuration file. Now you can access that using slash edit, gpc slash delcode slash config, and oops, should be done that. Configuration. Go to master configuration, and this very small configuration should be done there, and go there directly, go to line number 91. And we have to do is that just use until we have set as cost fix. So we have to remove this thing, we have to remove 92 hashtag as well, just, just write cost fix. Your user group is cost fix, your user is cost fix, and your group also would be cost fix. And we have to just save it. 
that's all the configuration to be there. Very easy, very easy here. And it's not set. Great. Now I have done all the required configuration to the dub for uh, the uh, server. Then uh, I'm going to enable and restart the dub for server. So what I'm going to do is system CTL. And I'm going to start from Output yes, so CTL restart dot yes, done. Now we have installed the force fix plus the dolphin. Only one is remaining that means installing the general service, and there we can actually do it using yum install. Yes, loading packages. Yes, get installed. You can ask me if now it's installing. Here also, it takes the time it takes depends on your uh, internet connection. Great. Now it is done. Now I am I changing my uh, directory to serial uh, mode configuration directory slash yeah slash user slash share. As serial and slash config. Okay, I, I changed my directory now. You can see it's here. And I am accessing dot slash con configuration dot 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 dr. Clear. So then uh, I can do a couple of uh, changes here, but I'll do only uh, two configuration that is organization profiles and server settings. So I first press one. I click and ask in my organization name so my organization name should be perux.com. So I click one, then I need to write the perux.com. And I press enter. Then I need to, uh, only that change to be there. So I press F to save the data. And uh, I uh, press R2 to turn to the previous uh, menu. Then I go to number two, the server settings. The first setting should be domain, and the domain will be uh, referux.com. So number one, referux.com. Okay, the second one will be number three settings, that is HTML or SMTP, that is get simple message transfer protocol. So enter uh, number two. Right now, if you, you can see the two changes that refer you to com as well as SMTP. And I press S to uh, save, R uh, to go to channel, R to to uh, move on this menu. So you are just one setting to be there that is uh, we are in the, uh, the web component the directory uh, where we can access uh, the server mode for the web. So there I need to change the Apache file. So what I'm going to do is clear the screen and I go to slash slash if you say slash HTTPD then uh, slash com and uh, slash HTTP com. There I go to very this is the main uh, HTTP configuration file. Then I go to down down and add uh, the below this configuration and uh, you can get this configuration. Uh, from the description of this video, I will copy this and store and save it. So very simple. But what it just means you can allow you could realize uh, either you can access the this where uh, the slash webmail, IP slash the webmail, or slash IP slash and also uh, directory ID uh, file. Yeah, this directory uh, under this directory you have uh, a couple of uh, lines which shows you the access to the uh, index dot php file uh, which is uh, the simple interface uh, to access the uh, SQL mode to the web. 
for me to save it and then you can uh, start it great everything has done now only thing required is restarting the apache server so we will start the tutorial restart the uh, http db server and it's done now it's a matter of creating the email users and accessing the SQL mail using the uh, so uh, before that let me show you whether we can better let's check whether it's working so i'm using my host machine this is my host machine and then i am using iip uh, which is http slash uh, my ip is uh, 192.168.146 in this case, uh, my IP was uh, 162. Okay, 162. 162 slash web. Great. If you can get this thing, which means that you have successfully installed the uh, host machine server, and you can see that it's uh, refer you vex.com, that is the organization name, and the login. So before login, let me let me create a couple of uh, usernames. Uh, okay, first uh, let's create uh, two users. Uh, I'll add user Ben, and let me create Ben's password, which is obviously Ben. All right, I'll create another user called Kate. Do that. Kate and the uh, password of Kate would be Kate. Right, there are two users created, Ben and Kate. Now let us let us uh, access their email boxes. This is Ben's email box. I'll compose our email. Kate and Kate and Refer.com and this is email. I get this is email. Send it. Okay, then I just need the send box. I can see Kate at refuse.com. This has been done. I was sign out. And then I log into uh, Kate's email box. And you can see, you can see, you can have our email from Ben and refuse.com. This is demo. Then I can go to reply. Uh, hi, Ben. I got your email. It now in my send box, I have a reply sent to Ben and sign out. And I'll check in Ben's email box. You can see there's an email reply saying from Kate saying that, Okay, hi Ben, I got a mail. So if we can see these bilateral uh, replies and inbox messages and send boxes, so we have successfully configured the host disk main server. Okay guys, in this lab, we learn installation and configuration of host disk main server uh, using dogcot and squirrel mail facility. I hope you learn something out of this. If you learn something, please like and comment and, and share as well. And if you want to learn or get alerts on newly coming such videos, please subscribe to us. Thank you.